John, your debut here as a match day guest. Did you enjoy yourself? I did. I really enjoyed the game. I thought the the level, the quality was. I, I haven't watched much non-league football. I used to watch my son-in-law at Grizzly Rovers many years ago, but uh, I was quite impressed. In the first half, particularly impressed with Cam Town. Uh, what? Talk about a game of two halves. Well, Tommy Rockbanks, the man, said exactly the same as you a few minutes ago. It was ago. like just incredible. The turnaround in yeah. the game, yeah. and uh, I, I suppose at, at two 0 the third game in any football match is so important. And they got a like a terrific strike to make it two one, and probably gave them belief. But first half, they were rarely in, I would say, our box. And then the second half, it was vice versa. We never really got in their box. Uh, very rarely have I seen. A game just turned so much into the two forty-five minutes. Now you played professionally for about twenty years, but I gather you create ease back in that league. Some level to this. Pardon? At the end, later stage, you your career. I did. I played, played non league. I played. Some some level I played. Uh, yeah. Was it Belfort? Uh, for right? Belfort Town. Yeah. Then uh, Carriage and Wagon East Midlands Regional League. Yeah. And uh, Upbrook the Derby Senior League. And uh, I've always enjoyed. Uh, in recent years, I, I I don't watch as much football as I used to. Uh, but I used to really enjoy going to watch local football. And my son-in-law played for Gresley Rovers. I used to go and watch them quite a lot. And actually qualified to get in the league. But the ground wasn't good enough and Cheltenham Town took their place. They were actually better than Burton Albion in those days. So there you go. But I, I enjoyed it. I thought the quality of the game. And first half, Carroll played really good football. And second half, it just... I don't know what happened to them. It, it, it's yeah, it's yeah, frustrating. Yeah, yeah. You, you feel, you, you're feeling about the ground here. Now, we're not one of the biggest in the area, but not far from the smallest. You enjoy the setup? You like the setup? Oh, it was really, in? yeah, really good, yeah. I mean, I had been standing on the rail, uh, getting back to like proper football, we could say, you know, yeah, yeah. And, and standing with guys who are proper football fans. And, uh, you know, the comments, the, I wouldn't like to be a linesman, <laughs> uh, but the, yeah, uh, they see referees and linesmen as the enemy. I'd give them a break, you know. But generally, I, 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 I've seen a few good players. Now, I'm not going to mention your age, but I said to you when we first met, I remember seeing you play at Filbert Street, Leicester, back in the mid 1960s, which is giving my age away as well. Have you seen a big change in the game as a whole, pace of it? Yeah, the, I said to the guys who started with today, the pace of the game surprised me. It's so it's much quicker. And you, it's, but, when, you, yeah. when you see it in person, it, look, it is. It is the game is yeah, without a doubt. Yeah, uh, they're more athletic. The game is quicker. That level, the, the tempo, the quick. The, the, it was, you know, you don't have time in the ball. It's really, really quick. Yeah. Now, when going back in the sixties, I'm sure you remember. I remember going to spectate some pitches. They're like mud bars by November. Do you think that? Pitch conditions added to this pace of the game. Well, it, the pitch was very firm, which for this time of the year is like pretty unusual. Yeah. We yeah. think, you know, yeah. uh, must have a dry spell. But the pitch, was, the bounce of the ball was, uh, it was, it was quite difficult conditions. So I thought both teams would be fairly handled it quite well because the, the ball was bouncing, you know, like a really hard pitch. Uh, but uh, just the quality of the football Carroll Town played in the first half was very good. And I, I just don't know when they lost it. You know, they came out second half. It's the first Whether like it, they get the, the G up of the, you know, and, and like we say, the, the first goal, their, yeah. their yeah. first goal changed the game a little bit. But it's the first game. It gave them a bit sport, of belief. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Frustrating I don't think I've ever seen a game that's been, two halves have been so different. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, thank you very much for coming. And I know this is your first time here, is it? No, I've been before. No, I've, been I've, been, before. I've been before. Yeah. But first time I've been to a game. That's right. I've yeah. been to an evening. You've been to yeah, dinner, yeah. We hope to and see I, you back. I think it's good. I, I, just, I just really enjoyed being standing with the yeah. people. You know, it takes me back to my yeah. years when I used to go and watch Bresley Rovers. Yeah. That's a very similar sort of thing. And when people here are here because they love football. And, uh, it, it's it's a, and, and <laughs> there's lots of comments and, <laughs> you know. Is it fair to say the lower down you get this, there is more feeling for the individual club? Um, oh, I'm, I'm saying people go, oh, let's go and watch Wimbledon or let's go and watch Tranmere, but it's a match. But at this level, it's more interaction between spectators. Oh, definitely, the yeah. spectators, yeah. I yeah. mean, the, I, I just went and stood like, as I came out of the room I was in, I went and stood like with three guys standing there, so I just stood next to them. Yeah. I didn't have a clue who they were, but there were three guys from Sheffield who yeah. were sporting yeah. Sheffield. So I enjoyed the crack with them, 
and uh, one of them's son was a centre half. Yeah. And uh, if I went to the game every week, I'm sure he'd get in a fight now and again because <laughs> he was uh, he was very passionate. Very, very passionate, yeah, yeah. extremely passionate, yeah, yeah. Well, well, many thanks for coming today, and we hope to see you here not too distant no, future. I'd love to, yeah, I've really enjoyed it, yeah. That's great, John. And I really, I thought the football level was, I've seen some right. talented lads out there, and uh, I thought the football you, level was you really fancy good. fancy coaching them, would you? I don't know about coaching, <laughs> I'm not, you know, I'm not a coach, I, I'm. Or no, passing on the wisdom of the game. Yeah, 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 exactly, yeah, yeah. 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 Like, you know, coaching to me is, you know, it's like... It's not yours, not, not your seat. really, no, no, no. no, no. no Maybe no. you can tell them. You can give them a game, like, yeah, yeah. 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 But yeah. Some, yeah. some of the lads are quite talented, yeah. talented yeah. lads, yeah. 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 Well, I know one of ours, uh, when he was at Loughborough Dynamo uh, a few years back, Nat Watson, he was on, I know he went on uh, week two with trial with a... Uh, is that the number seven? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I picked him out straight away. He, yeah, he yeah. went on trial with the Championship Club. Some, this is some years ago when he was Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah well, the, in the first half, he was the outstanding player. Yeah. Yes. But the game changed. Yes. And then the, the, the little uh, lad, slim black lad, came on and he was second half. He was the outstanding yeah, player. Yeah, 17. 17. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. John, it's been a pleasure and look forward to having you here again. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, enjoyed thank it. You. I really enjoyed it, yeah.